What is an adult problem that nobody prepared you for? Aging parents. The childishness of other adults. How much every injury you had as a kid didn't really heal. It just lay dormant until you woke up on your 38th birthday. Now it hurts all the time. The realization that $1,000 is not a lot of money to have. But it is a lot of money to owe someone. Being tired all the fucking time. Being absolutely exhausted most of the time. I never thought I'd be the, I hate everyone, guy. But I am and everyone can f, asterisk ck off. Edit. Thank you for the love. When to call a repairman and when you can amateurly fix it yourself. Being sued by the guy who crashed into ME from behind. Wow. Okay. Edit. My wife doesn't want a dashcam. But I'm gonna get some eventually. It's great advice. We've had other accidents since. But that was the most consequential. However. The accident was in 1980. So not something I could have prepared for. So. Story time? It was the night before Thanksgiving and I was giving a friend a ride home from his gas station job. We were approaching their driveway, my former housemates had a rented house. A left turn. And there was a car coming toward us around the curb, unlit two-lane country road, just past that. So I stopped in front of the drive to let him go by. I saw his lights. But I couldn't tell how fast he was coming. Then I see high beams in the mirror. Four headlights. Coming fast. I try for the driveway because I still have a second. I pop the clutch and turn the wheel. But I'm driving a 71 VW camper with a 45 horsepower engine so it's not like I'm burning rubber. Meanwhile, the guy behind me actually tried to pass. Going at least 60 to 70 in a 55. Saw the oncoming car. And tried to pass me on the right. But there was a guardrail right there because of a culvert or something. And he tried to wedge his car between us. So I get my van to about a 45 DEG angle and he catches my right rear corner. I wind up rolling into the ditch on the other side of the road and flipping into it. Landing head up. Facing the direction we came from. They took us to the nearby hospital to check us. And a cop gave me a ticket for not signaling a left turn. I told him I signaled. But I didn't see how I could prove it. So I didn't fight the ticket later. The hospital let us go and I'm still kicking myself for not demanding he get tested for alcohol. A month or so after paying the ticket. I find out he's suing ME for $100. Oh 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 for injuries. Not fighting a moving violation, it's NY State, lets him claim it was my fault. Should have gone to a lawyer. But I was good and broke at the time. See above. Not prepared, my insurance company got a lawyer. But I didn't get that he was working for them. Not me. At the deposition a year later. He barely remembered what happened in the accident and couldn't prove pain and suffering. But they didn't even try to shoot down his claims. Finally before the trial date, two years later. They settle for $5,000. My policy said they could only penalize me a little bit if they had to pay out less than $50,000. So it was minimal except that I only had liability. So I was out the cost of an old van. Should have sued him. But young and inexperienced and just wanted to move on. In fact. A friend had an almost identical 71 camper and was selling it right then so I bought that. The actual conclusion. Five months after the settlement. He ran off the road and died. So I regret two main things. Giving the oncoming car too much time. And not getting a lawyer to fight the ticket and go after him for the cost. By the way. The guy was a local business, dry cleaner, owner and his store was right next to the station of the trooper that gave me the ticket. Vegetables die too soon in the fridge. The endless cleaning. I had chores when I was a kid. But I had zero clue how much actual work went into keeping house. I cleaned my house this morning and by midweek it'll be a war zone of pet hair. Crumbs. And dust. I don't even have kids WTF it's like the underpants gnome show up when I'm asleep and fuck my house up. You telling me I gotta make food every day. Often multiple times a day just to stay alive? Back pain. How hard it is to make, keep friends. Don't even get me started on relationships. Edit. Thank you for all the awards. The existential horror of being in a dead end job with a horrible boss but can't afford to quit because you'll starve. Edit. Whoa. Just so you know guys. I'm better now. I left the job I didn't like and I enjoy my work now. Also. As some of you suggested. I've been doing my masters concurrently. I am working towards my dream job in a university.
all the laundry. Good grief does it pile up. Office politics. Edit. This is the way. The incessant flow of bills. Phone. Water. Electricity. Insurance. Rent. Mortgage also. College debt. Oh. And dental care. Kurt Vonnegut had it right when he said the trouble with getting older is you outlive your teeth. Controlling your finances. Everything I have learned about budgeting. Debt recovery. Pensions. Saving. And wise purchases I have had to learn for myself. A lack of community. Growing up you have your elementary school. Each day you see your friends and participate in activities together. Sometimes they move away and sometimes you do. But it largely stays the same through high school and middle school. Flash forward to adulthood and you're just alone. You want to make friends IRL. But have no idea how to go about doing it without seeming creepy. Desperate. Or God knows what. This is really hard when you are not overtly religious so you cannot join a religious community. My friend and I talk about this from time to time. It's arguably the hardest thing to deal with in life. It gets worse the longer you live. As you know you are outliving your generation. Chronic back pain with no drugs that can help. Careers. As a kid you hear, what do you want to be when you grow up? And it's always, nurse, doctor, fireman, game designer, etc. Which is all so simple. But then when you do start training, working in that career and you realize you don't like it. It just feels like such a terrifying thing to now have to think of a new career identity. I'm pretty sure most of us spend a lot of time working through this crap. My career isn't viable. What do I do? And come to the conclusion that yeah. It actually does make you more sane working in a shop or whatever. Then going home at night having paid the bills and not stressing. It's the realization that really takes time. Having to figure out what to eat three times a day. The inevitably of your parents dying. My dad just passed away and I'm 25. No one could have prepared me I guess. The combo between lack of income and plenty of debt. Basic home maintenance. When to change air filters. Smoke alarm batteries. Timing of lawn care. How often do you clean the gutters? Are you supposed to clean under the stove? What is edging? How do you recycle? How to change locks? Etc. I am still confused AF. I thought adults had their shit together. How much time you spend just doing stuff? Oh need to replace my tire and that's over by the store. So while I replace the tire I can do some errands and I'll save time and be home in no time 3 hours later okay just one more errand before I head home. Also how putting off a small task just a couple days in a row can quickly amount to a longer chore, responsibility later. A I can just leave this in the sink. Get to it later before bed x 2 days why is this grime caked onto this plate still I've been scrubbing for 10 minutes straight. Making important life decisions. When you're young you have a safety net but when you're an adult you're taking on risk that can influence successive years of your life. Same goes for single versus family. Edit. Thank you for the silver. Deciding what's for dinner every night for the rest of my life. The death of the elder family and your rising name on that list. I was just ruminating earlier today with my station. It feels like I was 20 just yesterday. But then suddenly I have an adult daughter. I've buried grandparents and a parent. And now more voices turn to me than I can turn to myself. Having to not only make important decisions by myself, I expected that much, but also having to do so in a timely fashion uninhibited by indecision. How much harder it is to make friends. I kinda feel like if you hadn't already made some good friends by 25 to 26. You'll end up stuck with superficial friendships. You can go days on end without having to speak to a single person. At first it's a dream come true. After about two months you start talking to your toaster to pad the silence while waiting for your toast. Being sick and having to care for yourself. Like when you were younger your parents would get the medicine. Or the medicine cabinet would just be stocked all the time. Etc. But here I am with a cold having to build up the energy to go to the supermarket to buy some aspirin and throat lozenges all by myself. The disillusion that comes with realizing your parents had no actual clue what they were doing 86% of the time whilst raising you. People still being bullies way past high school. How fucking lonely you can be. Having to put up with so much crap from people in higher positions even though they're less competent than you. Because you need that paycheck. And as you get older. 
sometimes life circumstances trap you there. How depressing and mundane working 40 plus hours per week for 30 plus years is. If you don't love yourself as a teen, you're gonna have a fucking blast trying to learn it as an adult while supporting yourself. I wish I had tried harder as a teen to understand myself instead of drowning my emotions in wow. No one helping you. Anus hair. From a 16 year old reading this thread, fuck. How uneducated people are. Like, the complete lack of reasoning and critical thinking is astonishing. You can't even have a proper conversation with some people because they make up their minds and the conversation is over. That depression doesn't go away after teenage hormones subside. That all those big things you thought you'd have time to do when you're older often become physically impossible to do when you're older even if you have the time. Having serious philosophical, religious, political disagreements with family. Always having to be on. At work you need to meet goals and be on. At home with your kids you need to be on. With your spouse you need to be on. I'm very fortunate that my wife and I can just sit and veg in complete silence for hours. And nobody is internally freaking out. The number of decisions I have to make. As a kid, you never have a lot of choice in what's for dinner. What to do on the weekend. Where you live. Your household income. What to do when your vehicle makes a funny noise. Etc. Now that I have to look after all those things. I just wish someone would come along and tell me what to do half the time. Definitely not quick sand and piranhas I'll tell you that. Getting old ain't for sissies. Can confirm. Age 80. Enjoy your youth kids. It's fleeting. The fact it's all a facade. Adults aren't really more mature than most teenagers or 20-somethings in their early years. They just have more responsibilities to tend to and can't indulge in all the stupid shit they used to. Sure some grow out of hobbies or interests but for every person who acts super mature I know people who just are basically responsible 15 year olds. My dad sure was one. Edit. Some folks seem to have had a nerve struck by this one and it by no means is meant to be insulting. We all have different personalities. Sure you might grow and change as you get older. But let's not pretend that there aren't adults out there who still love kids shows. Comic books. Playing with toys with their children. Or who never grew up and inversely that there were kids who worked two jobs and went to school and raised their brothers and sisters. I'm simply stating that I think the difference in maturity you are expecting. Expected to see as you grow up as a falsehood people profess because no one really knows how to explain adulthood and growing up and sacrificing time and interests for survivability or necessity. Parents aren't immortal. Bills. They can suck the air right out of a room. Plus they come every. Single. Month. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.